My daughter's security is and subtle. <laughs> what? Oh, and before what I the forget, fuck? <laughs> I left that come this from? key for you. Better get moving to now. Yeah, I got the right key. Oh nice. my god. <laughs> <Okay. door. laughs> okay. Real fake. Here we sell real, real fake, fake doors. Door. And you can place them anywhere. You got, the, you got the accent going. I like you it. Your house, you set up a door. The, the, right the, next the to a window. And a little bit of fake doors door type of accent. Of you got a real fake door. Just I in. put doors in my house. I call it door decor. They're not real doors. You go up to them, you open them, and there's a brick wall. I love it. It makes people think they're going insane. It is literally me. I sometimes I sleepwalk and I open all of the doors and it, it enters into my dream and and I have a nightmare that I'm running from something and all these doors I can't go through them but that's neither here nor there the really funny part is when I pretend to be a murderer and I start chasing people and they try to they try to they try to get out of the house and I'm chasing them with a knife and they open a door and there's a brick wall <laughs> I love fake doors. <laughs> I picked this up. Just Gotta go down to the door salesman, pick up some doors. Doors here. Door shipment right, here. Come down. Come to the store. Burglar. Are you trying to the robbers me? really Are don't know where to, to go. So I hope he hasn't heard of the real fake door service. <laughs> the service that brings you fake doors to trap intruders. I hope I, as an intruder, don't have to deal with that strife and trouble in my life. I really hope that he <laughs> doesn't know about the fake doors. Oh, fuck. It's a fake door. He got me. Okay, officer. <laughs> Arrest me. I'll go to prison. The officer is like opening doors like, fuck, how do I get out of here? <laughs> He's like, that's right. You can't. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's booming. The, the fake door business is booming. <laughs> booming nowadays. Oh, this is horrible. Oh. <laughs> Oh like, no! Shh, shh, you got stuck by my real fake doors. <laughs> oh, just my fake doors got ya! <laughs> you just genuinely start fucking Fucker. killing the guy. A fake fake door is just a locked door, but a real <laughs> fake. A fake fake door is a real door. <laughs> Think about all all the positives that come with. There's a lot fake. of utilities that come with fake doors. You can use them like a fan. You can open them and close them really fast and like circulate the air in your house. You can you can like buy a fake door and just like put it on your ceiling and make people really wonder what the fuck is going on. There's a lot you can do with fake doors. I'm personally I'm a fake door. I'm a fake door lover. I like to sort of have like a hallway that's full of doors and so instead of like just opening one door now you're in the hallway you walk through it you have to open one door then another then another then another that's my kind of that's what i do with fake doors i don't really put them like up against the wall to trick people i more so inconvenience people but you know fake doors are fun fake doors. <laughs> we, we haven't quite figured out stealing doors yet <laughs> they come from now people love when you hold doors open for them so i bring new people into my house into that doorway hallway and i open every door for him i open i hold every door for him and then all of a sudden it's like it's like i'm playing a video game every single door that i hold open for them i get a little bit more a little bit more points in them they like me a little bit more for it and so after you know the 70th 80th door we're best friends after i've hold i've held 80 doors for them now normally you only get the chance if you like go out together and then that's like one door maybe two when you leave you know you held the door for, open for somebody two times in one little hangout i get to do it 80 times all at, all at once from the wood jesus from christ the big door. Do it. Um. <laughs> If you were really bad at looking through peepholes, <laughs> now there's nothing through them, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> That's really yeah, funny. Great things, great things that happen with real fake doors. Read a textbook. You can go fucking learn yourself something. <laughs> God, you know, back <laughs> back in the Middle Ages, kings and queens would put fake doors in their castle, and then invaders wouldn't know which door was real. And then, once they would find a real door, finally, they would open it up, and they'd be like, I bet it's another fake door. And then what's on the other side of it? Boom. A guy with a spear. Pff, impaled. Dead. They don't expect that. Now, real fake doors here. Now you have guns. There we go. There's your solution. Also, also, if you lock all the doors, it takes so long for them to open a door just to see a brick wall. Now, what we like to do is, you know, it kind of kind of makes them not want to actually open up doors. So, once they get to the first real door... By then, hopefully, they're already out of energy. You just don't understand my love <laughs> and passion for doors real fake doors. <laughs> my favorite come out of, like, uh... Fucking love like, My favorite doors, doors usually have come out of, like, Jamaican balsa wood. 
It's real light stuff, right? Real light. It's, it's really mesmerizing. It's tall styrofoam cooler. Real fake steel door on the back of his clown. <laughs> and everything. It holds ice. Okay, I don't even know if it's a real wood, but we made it. Okay? That's we real as hell. We created it in the lab. It's our new real fake door coming out. It's a new <laughs> line. Now, the, the real fake door business, trillion dollar. Trillion dollar industry. A lot of our woods aren't even real. I'm going to be honest. It's like... It's like scented candle type of fake. They don't really exist, but we make them anyways. And all of a sudden, you know, now we have, ja ja you know, Jamaican, Red Californian, Red Oak. And, you know, it's like stronger than steel. I'm going to be honest. Really what it is, is it's titanium. And we paint it red and like carve it in a way. It, it looks like wood with what we do. It's just titanium. We're just lying. lying. <laughs> We're just... Actually, we're not smart enough to make new wood. We're just lying to all of our shoppers. But once they once they get it and they feel how heavy it is and they try to break it down and nothing happens, they break their arm, they're like, yep, that would help. That would help. If I were in an intruder situation and I needed a door and I need to be like, oh, God, I hope you don't try to break through the, the <laughs> what did I say, Jamaican, California, Red Oak door. I hope you don't break through that door. That's where all my valuables are. And then the thief is like, the thief is like, that's the door. I found it. You were trying to trick me, but now I know. That's where all your valuables are. And while he's like trying to hammer down that door and nothing is happening, that's when you take your valuables, leave the house. Now, the problem is maybe you have so many fake doors, you don't know which door is the real door. In which case, now you have your valuables and you're trying to leave and you, you know, it becomes a little bit of a problem in its own. But we, we trust we trust fake door buyers to, to know the entrances and exits to their house. Everybody hook up some LEDs on them and whatnot and really make the real fake door decor. Actually, actually, we make we make electric real fake doors and I'm not kidding you. Rock stars, rock stars will go up there. They'll be up there on stage with a door, start playing that shit. Let me tell you, there is no instrument as versatile as the door. You might say the guitar, you might say the violin, and if you're correct, you might say the piano, but you aren't correct because doors are where it's at. You can bang doors, you can strum doors, you can sing into doors. It's a wood instrument, it's a brass instrument, depending, you know, you can really make a door into anything. So we gotta like give them the rock stars too. Uh, the only problem is that, you know, once they're done with their set, they put it down and then they try to leave the stage and walk through the door. They can't really teleport your places yet. Not yet. They, they aren't they aren't real teleportation doors yet, which they might be someday. You know, the, te the technology is there. Uh, we just haven't put it together yet. But one day it might be. But for now, it, it doesn't work like that. And so these rock stars get stuck up on stage and they're like, they try to walk out the door and they're like, what? Why is the audience still here? They turn around and walk back through and they're like, well, I'm back on stage, and you know, because it's really confusing for them. Like door fantasies. <laughs> you, like, I feel like that could be a thing. And oh I God! Wish, I don't care what you do behind you. Over here. <laughs> and you out there with door fetishes? If you just want to walk through doors really fast, now you can in the privacy of your own room. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Okay, don't. God. Don't, don't, don't no, we have mail order real fake doors. They know what they're getting into. It doesn't count as prostitution in the United States. You might get into trouble for it in European countries, maybe in Canada, but here in the U.S., it's entirely legal. You just order them, they come to your house, and then, you know, you just get down to whatever business you want to get down to. They're willing to do anything for you. The, 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 the Hooters real fake doors are crazy. <laughs> We have them in three colors. We have jasmine, we have cinnamon, we have crystal. You know, crystal spelled with a Y, of course. Also with a Jesus, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I want to start a club for real fake doors. God. Real fake doors <laughs> for real baked whores. That's going to be our slogan. <laughs> Did you say real baked whores? <laughs> what? What? Hold on. I need to rewatch this. I need to rewatch this. Real fake doors for real baked whores. You did! You did! What? what? <laughs> a real baked whore comes with, comes with your door. Actually, in Brazil and Colombia, the doors are used as smuggling for drugs. <laughs> and so the whores come to you, they're behind the door. You open up the door, there's a whore. And the whore is baked. And the door is fake, but it was also real. <laughs> it's... A little bit confusing, but that's the that's the point. Cause now the cops, the FBI, ICE, they don't know what to do. So real fake doors. The cartel loves, loves real, real fake, fake doors. doors. But we only have stores that hold three floors of real fake doors for your decor at home. 
It's time for a website. Realfakedoors.net. Oh, Holy shit. Real fake whores for real fake doors dot com. God. We come for fake real doors dot com. Oh my god. Dot gov. Jesus real Christ. fake doors. Holy I'm a shit. Whore. No, if I um I think at some point <laughs> I think at some point I'm gonna have to start a brand of products and it's just doors that aren't real and they're like a poster. It's like a poster and you put it on your wall but it's a door. And it's like, that's how you know you're a fan of Il Mimbo, is you have a door on your wall and you can open it up and there's just nothing there. Or maybe it's on your ceiling. Who knows, you know? Really, these, these real fake doors, the point of them is it's a mystery box. If you guys have watched J.J. Abrams' TED Talk, it's a mystery box. You never know what's there. And you open it up and every single time, it's nothing. <laughs> every single time, it's nothing. But that first time, that first time you open that door, it's, it's like... Is this a real door? Is it a fake door? I don't know. And then you open it up and there's there's nothing there. But then you open up a million doors and all of a sudden, a whore. Boom. <laughs> that's that's real fake door. There's a lot that I can there's a lot the I can pull from this, limited. okay? Yes. Stop. I'm stealing your improv. You gotta keep that. It's going yes. <laughs> I'm a content stealer. <laughs> but in my defense, it's really funny content. <laughs> I think I think it's okay. I think I think I don't think anyone on minds. Discord. I think I'll remember real fake doors. All the <laughs> I'm gonna all remember the real, real fake, fake door doors. That I'm having. Some people like to call them wallpaper. But Holy no, shit! It's triple ply. It's the best so thing. Like we found out fire existed. If you doors. ask me. It's no. I mean, when you best go, thing you since go to the Stone Age. Why not have some shaved real door, real fake doors? <laughs> Makes no sense. <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> Sorry, hold on. <laughs> You're gonna shave it? Really? <laughs> okay. Okay, don't tell anybody. <laughs> don't tell anybody. This is a trade secret for these doors. <laughs> They're alive. <laughs> the doors are alive. <laughs> and there's a monthly maintenance every single month. You have to shave the door down or it becomes too powerful. It comes off its hinges. It starts opening and closing on its own. All of a sudden, it's not a real fake door. It's a real alive door. Now, if you shave it, you can keep it under control. You can keep this door, this real fake door, under control. And it'll stay real and fake. Real and fake. It's a real fake door. Okay? But the moment, <laughs> the moment you stop shaving it, it's like gremlins, okay? <laughs> don't feed it after after midnight. Don't open it more than 500 times a day. And if there's anything ever behind that door, you have given the door too much power. If you make it a real, real door, that's when the nightmare starts. <laughs> special groomers all of a sudden there's like zoos there's like zoos for real fake doors that's where you buy them from like, the real fake doors, so real fake doors they even smell like stuffing and cranberry sauce okay it goes well, it well <laughs> these doors smell like shit these doors make your house a worse yeah you wanted your whole house to smell like a thanksgiving turkey well we have you with the thanksgiving door thanksgiving hey the real fake Thanksgiving door. The perfect thing for that fall season, you know. You want to you wanna meet up with the family, be thankful. What do you do? You put that above the dining table. All of a sudden, everybody's vibing. They're happy. You know, you got the, you got the mood setting right. We have <laughs> There's LED doors. <laughs> there's little gravy holder doors. You know, a little, just, you know, you pour your gravy out of the door. It works. You open up the door, gravy starts pouring out of it. We have doors for everything. We have fork doors. We have spoon doors. We have chair doors. Real chair doors. Everything you could ever think of. Pino, please buy my real fake doors. I'm getting tired of being the only one buying my own merch. Please get real fake doors. <laughs> yeah. My business isn't making enough money, so I'm actually like anonymously buying real fake doors to keep it going. <laughs> Gotta let the stock. I gotta keep the stockholders convinced. <laughs> yeah, hold on, <laughs> guys. You, have, you don't understand. I mean, it's a like funny bit. Have, you know, hold over, on. Over us, you know, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna let Mr. Mr. <laughs> Mr. G yeah, take over the stream for a moment while I deck back. Oak. My favorite is it's a pastel mauve version. The very pastel mauve version. What? Mine's a mauve. I love it. <laughs> hold on. Mine's a mauve. I love it. And clean as an eggshell. Jesus paint. Christ. It great with literally every wall of <laughs> paint. People don't want to paint. The grooming fees so alone. Right right right. The door's really the new dog. The door's the new dog, if you ask me. And they're just like, oh, what? 
That's crazy. You got me. Uh -huh. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> uh -huh. that, that's, that's kind of funny to me. There's this image now in my head that uh, that like real fake doors are used for stores, and the, you know, you know, if somebody comes into the store, they buy what they want, you know, and then they try to leave, and the door it's fake now. <laughs> the real fake door has been replaced. They open it up, brick wall. Guess what? Now they're stuck in the store. All, all their only option is to spend all their money in there. And you're just sitting there, you're like the, you're, let's say you're the cashier, the store owner, whatever, and you're just like, I don't know how that happened, we're stuck in here too, somebody must have, somebody must have bricked up the wall from the outside, and you're, and they're just like, they're just like, and now they're just, now they're confused, they're stuck in the store, they're like, fuck, this was a real fake door, I thought it was real, but it's fake, no, and now, now, you know, they're spending all of their money buying what, what are you selling to them? Sandwiches. There we go. Uh... You know, if you ask me, sandwiches are just meat between two doors. <laughs> Meat, lettuce, sauce, whatever you want in there, between two doors. I'd say we should, like, extend real fake doors to real fake sandwiches. <laughs> and you think there's something in between there, but you take a bite and all of a sudden, no, bread sandwich. <laughs> or, even better, door sandwich? Maybe we put mini doors inside the sandwiches? The door, the sandwich is the, the, the sorry, the sandwich is the door. The door is the sandwich, they're the same thing. Now, doors... Doors aren't the best thing since sliced bread. Doors are sliced bread. Maybe possibly three. <laughs> Real fake sandwiches. Fake to black, which is like hell yeah. Black, no demand. So, I, I, it's hard to let my inner creative muse out. Right? <laughs> see, I paint this door with Vanta Black. Vanta Black can't see anything. It looks like a black hole, right? You think, wow, that that room is really dark. You walk into it, boom, you hit it. Now you're like, oh fuck, this is a door, and then you open it up, what's behind the door? A wall. But what's the wall painted in? Bait the black. Now you're like, fuck, this void door opens up to an actual void. You try to walk in, guess what? You hit that again. What was it? Another real fake door behind the other real fake door. That's right, it's a real fake door hallway. <laughs> and every time you open a door, there's another door behind it painted with Vanta black. By the time you're done, right, all the doors, they've closed behind you. You're at the end of the void. And everything is pitch black. Vanta black. You can't see anything. Darkness. Pure darkness. And now, you're trapped in it. That's how they, that's how they killed King uh, George the Eighth. That's how they killed him. You know what happened to John F. Kennedy? He didn't get shot. No. No, 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 no. That was a fucking body double. You know how they got rid of the real John F. Kennedy? They put a real fake door in the Oval Office. That's how we got him. That's how the CIA got him. <laughs> real fake doors. For all your assassinating needs, I guess. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And at night time, you can't even tell where the door is. <laughs> we put the and doors even... out on the street. People walk into them. It's the best form of marketing. It's guerrilla marketing. It's out. It's real. It's in public. They hit a door. They're like, fuck, this door fooled me. What is this? They see a sticker on it. Real fake doors. Buy realfakedoor.com. Real, real fake doors and baketours.com, as you called it. Now, all of a sudden, guess what? Customers rolling in for that shit. It makes for a really good yeah, It's <laughs> so fucking stupid. Don't run away. The prices oh, are too good to beat. Buy our real <laughs> fake doors now. You're not going to find better fake doors over there. That guy doesn't sell fake doors. He sells real doors. You don't want to go to his shop. I swear to you. The real doors to sell in there are overpriced, okay? At real fake doors, we're cutting prices. We're selling doors. These doors, they don't even open. Okay, we don't have, a, we don't even have hinges, okay? We can, we, you know how many fucking corners we're cutting by not making them open? All of a sudden, guess what? That guy's selling real doors. Hundred dollars a door. Guess what? Ten bucks for a fake door. <laughs> Ten dollars. All your stock. You just mad he didn't get the employee discount. We actually don't give discounts to the military. Uh, that's cause real fake doors are just gonna make their PTSD worse. We actually charge them more. We don't want that. We don't want those, those fucking lawsuits, okay? Now, if you have PTSD, we do not recommend fake doors, okay? That's gonna cause some fucking psychotic episode, walking around your house, oh, I gotta get out of here, I gotta get out of here, you're going insane. Open the door, fake. Open the door, fake. Open the door, fake. Guess what? It's not good for you. Not good for you, okay? Ask your doctor if real fake doors are right for you, okay? Side effects include annoyance, 
not knowing where you are, and death. So be careful. Real yeah. fake croft and barrels. <laughs> Wait, real fake guns, real fake guns, here we go. You're out and about on the street in New York, as we are. This is a New York-based business, okay? All of a sudden, guess what? You're getting mugged. You're like, oh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? You pull out a real fake door, place it in between you and the robber. They're like, what the fuck? All of a sudden, they're trying to open the door. Not opening. No hinges. Now you run away while he's confused. <laughs> or, or, side idea, real fake guns, okay? They're like, oh, no, I'm trying to rob this guy, and he pulled a gun on me. And then you're like, yeah, yeah, he's a run oh, get the fuck out of here, I have a gun. Uh, you know, you're like, you're just scaring him off, whatever, screaming at him. They're like, fuck, that went badly. And then, all of a sudden, they don't even realize there's a door in front of your barrel. You can't even shoot this gun. There's a door locking it. Get fucked. <laughs> Perfect throwable for self-defense, of course. No. We got real fake door boomerangs, too. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know how that would work. I'm sorry, you like, what the, <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, we were all about the fakes, and they thought we were just, you know, not good. Apparently, people. old people don't understand it. And, you know, we, we want to get that Republican old white vote, right? You know, and the only way to get that for us is real doors. They love real doors. Old people love when they open the door, bam, something behind it some new area behind it they love real doors now personally us of this more newer abstract sort of thinker generation as i would call it you know we're, we're thinkers that's what we are we like to open doors nothing there <laughs> nothing there but you know for the older generations some of these doors have to be real yeah yeah no of course uh, otherwise how are we going to become you know uh, you know we really need to get that old way vote otherwise we're not getting a real fake door in office, you know, which which sucks because actually if you look at every president, not a single one has been a real fake door, not a single one. And, you know, we kind of want to write that wrong. So to do that, we also need to take real doors and incorporate them into business. They thought that we were typecasting our doors and I was like, no, that's <laughs> not even the case. It's just real fake doors in Scotland. It's it wasn't <laughs> it was in Scotland. We, you know, we weren't trying to be non-inclusive so much as focused it's kind of what we were going for so a lot of our actors a lot of our real fake door actors um kind of kind of blew up a little bit and not in the good sense it came down <laughs> um but it was a great movie oh great shit. Place. oh we're my god <laughs> at the end of the movie starts raining doors they're not used to rain they usually got roofs above their heads guess what starts raining on them they don't know what to do they start opening they start closing rapidly uh, they actually melt. Yeah, no, if there's no roof above a door, it'll just melt in the rain. Did you know that? It's crazy. The House of, the house of Repre have Representatives becoming the House of Doors. <laughs> God, you just have, no, you have the fucking Senate, and it's like one door, like, opening and closing, like the door sound effect, and then all the other fucking doors start opening and closing, and like, arguing over this new bill, like, should doors open or not? Do should we get rid of hinges? Hinges, ban hinges. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a pro closer. I'm a pro. I'm a pro locker. I'm a pro locker. <laughs> I I'm pro opening. I'm pro opening doors. <laughs> all of a sudden, like it's all polarized. It's like I want doors to open. I want doors to stay closed. <laughs> There's no political com. I'm just saying this isn't political commentary. Okay, I'm not comparing this to anything, but. I don't know, man. I don't know. Third party deadbolt. <laughs> Third party walls. <laughs> real fake walls. Holy shit, a real fake wall is a wall that you push on and it opens like a door. <laughs> yeah, real fake great. doors are water soluble. Uh, I didn't take any pictures. Didn't, didn't feel like it needed to. Just take my word for it. I'm a credible man. He's a good actor. <laughs> Holy He's shit, actor. man. Real fake door. Daniel Day Doris. <laughs> Daniel Day Doris. <laughs> Oh my god, he's a door act actor. There's three. Bark Club 2. Meth door we're actor. The, we're gonna bring <laughs> Mind, and I mean this. Red Blown. Tree cousin. <laughs> four, water damage. This is when you get older. Water you know, damage! Water, water damage! damage. They're water soluble! <laughs> okay, hold on, sorry. They gotta get them, you know, so they really need to put on that uh, WD 40 oil uh, when they wake up in the morning. It's, it's, it's tough. WD 40 is like the makeup of doors, really. You think it's a bad door? Put a little bit of WD-40 on it, it's not squeaking anymore, it looks a lot beautiful. You added a fresh coat of paint, all of a sudden you're 
30, 40, 50, 60 year old door, brand new. Brand new. Okay, that's all it takes. All it they takes. learned to get through the day. Real fake sliding glass doors. <laughs> and uh, These doors don't slide. <laughs> yeah. We, we, don't we, have, we have real fake automatic opening doors for Walmart and stuff. People walk up, they think it's an automatic door, think it's gonna open, walk right into it. Funniest shit you've ever seen. <laughs> We don't need the hinges God. anymore. There's no need. We Destroy his rheumatoid rust. Track system. Like, bing, bing, and just done. You know what I'm saying? What? Listen to the act is final. Hal Door Thousand. Come together and they sold. They realized they got a good life. Blend. Espresso in Italy. Time to go to the old wood chipper in the sky. Or whatever. The, the dump. But, you know, let's just say it's the wood <laughs> chipper. <laughs> We're in the sky <laughs> It's the dump. I'm gonna be. Honest. <laughs> yeah, we're killing the doors and recycling them, but they lived a good life. They lived a good life. We got like Wagyu doors, Wagyu A5 doors. You know, we got some doors that you know, Chuck. Really, you just put them in a wood chipper, put them right down to a bun, eat them. You know, what else are you gonna do with the doors? I mean, really, really, really. I mean, you know, they're not even like fully, fully sentient. I mean, yeah, they're thinking, but I mean, we gotta eat them for sustenance. It's, it's no worse than than killing a chicken or a cow and eating them. I mean, and they're entirely vegan too. They're entirely vegan because there's no meat in them. It's all sawdust. <laughs> it's, it's all sawdust. It fucking clogs your gut. But, but, but they are delicious. Our doors are delicious. They don't know the difference. They're real fake doors. <laughs> Mulch is like Chuck and like Sawdust is the actual, you know, A5. <laughs> Garden Give resource line. Go off on a tangent, I guess. Place. Organically Place. raised Let doors. I think people are leaving because I've talked about real fake doors for so long. I <laughs> do not care. <laughs> it's like an hour long rant about, <laughs> about real fake doors. Where are my viewers going? To be fair, you know, I actually... <laughs> I've been watching you talk about real fake doors. I'm surprised I'm still at five viewers, to be honest. <laughs> It'll be a bit that lives Holy on an infamy. Oh, yeah. It will. Oh, trust well, me, though. No, this bit is fucking spreading. Now it's in my stream, too. Jesus Christ. I like the real fake feel. Not the fake <laughs> real feel. <laughs> the f Sorry, the fake real feel, not the real fake feel. Though. I get it, I get it, I get it. The market... It's never been better. Like, I'm telling you right now. Okay, I came from nothing. I was in the streets. I was, you know. I was in the streets. I didn't have doors. I lived in an alleyway. Guess what? Not a single door in that alleyway. Now, I have lived. I, I pulled myself up by my bootstraps. And I surround myself with doors. This is a hero's journey. This is a hero's journey. And now, I've made my money back. I've lived a life. Guess what my house is full of now? I'm not living in alleys anyway, any, anymore. I got a mansion. Guess what? No, we don't even have walls. It's just doors. It's just real fake doors. Those are my walls. My ceiling, real fake doors. The shingles are just really tiny real fake doors. Like trap doors, even, as you would call them. Windows? If you ask me, windows are just glass doors, in my opinion. Oh, shit. I was selling Cheerios oh, by God. the brand. Holy shit. And, uh, There's a in my door. This little Rolex, That's funny. you know? Totally a Rolex. It's you don't have don't don't check don't check the tape. Hold on, hold on. Hey, that's not a Rolex. I don't Honestly, believe you. Don't, don't I've I've it. seen check Rolexes it. before. It, I got no fucking clue what a Rolex looks okay. like. It's a watch. <laughs> any 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 watch that isn't digital is a fancy watch to me. I don't care if you paid fifteen bucks. <laughs> that's fancier than any watch I'm getting. I'm getting one and it's like fucking you know, cheap plastic. I you know it's probably so fucking old it still has radium in it. Okay. Like, uh, the fucking watch, the, any watch I have on my wrist, d like what you had there was a Rolex to anything I'm gonna have. And he's that was off. funny, I can't believe I just went on a tangent of fake doors. Yeah, I'm <laughs> okay. done for now. Alright, boys, um, now you know, <laughs> that's cute. I also <laughs> am gonna get off.